Hi, my name is Megan McCoy now at Straight Talk Alert at NRACA. And as you know, at Straight Talk, we love to get feedback from y'all to make sure that we're on track. And so this month, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We're calling it the mailbox. And we thought we'd just go over a couple of the questions that we've received recently uh, with some answers that might help you with things that you're working through at your co-op. So, uh, for instance, Marsha with Dawson Public Power in Nebraska says that her co-op's having problems with folks building homes and uh, cabins too close to power lines that are already there. Uh, she said in one case there was somebody whose roof was eight feet away from the power line. Not a good situation. To help her out, we wrote a story addressing that for our safety topic. It's for December's content. I also talked to Josh with Numac Electric in Missouri. We walked through how you can see the number of messages that your co-op members have sent to Congress through the Our Energy, Our Future campaign back to uh, since 2008 when the campaign started. So if you're curious, would like to check that out for yourself, go to cooperative.com slash Our Energy. You can see the numbers right there. And you'll have a report for the number of advocates and the number of messages that folks have sent through. The number of advocates, of course, is the number of members that have actually participated in the campaign. And each member will have sent multiple messages throughout the length of the campaign. Sandy with Johnson County REMC in Indiana is doing something a lot of y'all are working on as well. She's getting ready for her co-op's big 75th anniversary. And she saw a lot of images in The Next Greatest Thing, uh, which if you haven't seen it, it's a great resource. Uh, so she saw a lot of REA era images in here, and she asked about a few of them and said, you know, do we have that? And I said, yeah, we have some of them. Uh, we don't have everything. Uh, there was a fire back in the 1980s, I believe, at NRACA, and some of these images were lost, but we do have a lot of them. So uh, we went through the pictures that she wanted. We're adding them to our image library in the co-op history category, so you can find them there. But in the meantime, if you see an image in here that you would really like to have, all you need to do is tell me the page number and where the image is on the page. Uh, you know, if it's in the top right corner or in the bottom left corner. And I can check our archives and see if we have that in hand and can get you a copy of it. So, and if you haven't seen this or Local Lights, which is the new copy of this uh, for the last 25 years. Uh, Next Greatest Thing was the first 50 years. Uh, you can always go to cooperative.com and find out more about this, or locallights.coop is another place. It's a nice Christmas gift if you're looking for that. So these are just a few of the things that we've talked to folks about. I also had some fun telling people about the awesome new Willy Wired Hand ornament that came out for Christmas. Um, it's been a lot of fun this month. We had some fun with Andrea in Ohio. She helped me out with two different energy efficiency articles, which you'll be getting in your December content. We also had um, Carrie in North Dakota. She asked me for some sample SCADA stories. They're doing uh, some new technology at their co-op. We didn't have anything on cooperative.com, but uh, we found a few resources online that helped her out. We also have several other requests over the last few months that we haven't fulfilled just yet, um, but they are on our calendar. We've had people ask for stories on how to read meters, the importance of reading meters on time for co-ops that are still doing that. We've had employee newsletters requests uh, for their stories, and uh, we've had people ask for us to explain prepaid meters. Uh, we're going to be doing that in January or February, I believe and how to make outside buildings more energy efficient. I think that's a great idea and we'll be doing that in the future as well. We'd love to hear from you. Please send your ideas or your questions to straighttalk at nraca.coop and who knows, maybe in the next issue of the mailbox we'll be talking about the amazing revelation we had with you. So hope all of y'all have a wonderful month and a good holiday season. Bye.